today we will be making a fish aquarium. We will need an A2 paper, some A4 pages, sellotape, a popsicle stick, a bowl with three different types of painting, blue, white and green and set it aside. We will need two paint brushes, scissors and a cokey. Two types of glitter, I'm using green and silver, you can use any color you like. Okay, we will need one extra color paint, earbuds to use later, and a tray full of paint. Okay, first step, we'll take one white paper, set your A2 paper aside. Take a paintbrush, pick any color you would like. Dip your paintbrush in and start painting the palm of your hand. Like this. Color it real good. Don't worry if the paint dries, we're going to go over it again. Okay, if that is done, pick another color. Take your paintbrush, dip it, and start painting your fingers. I'm doing index finger and ring finger, and then doing the rest of my fingers of another color. You can make it any color you would like to. If you can't get open, get someone to help you. Take your third color and you do the rest of your fingers. By now you would notice that the orange in the palm of your hand would have slightly gotten a bit dry. If so, just take more orange and go over again before you press your hand on the paper. Okay, that's done. Take your hand, press it very hard on the paper to make your and mark, and print. If that happens, just dab with the paintbrush over. See the fingers didn't come out very clearly. Just take your finger, dip it in the red paint again, and start painting the fingers with your own finger. Same with the green. That is done. Okay, take any other color you would like to and start doing it again. Paint the palm of your hand. I'm using purple this time. You can use any color you want. And paint every finger. I'm going to paint blue and yellow. Repeat the same steps as before. You can either paint one color every finger, or you can paint each finger another color, or you can do as I do paint two fingers one color and the rest another. Make it colorful, be creative. Use any color you would like. Apply it very thickly because it can dry, okay, and then you press your hand on the page again, very, very hard, so you can make your hand print. If you get blank spots, just take the paintbrush or your finger like we did, and fill it in with some more paint. You can use your finger and finger paint, or I didn't want to get my hand dirty, so I used my paintbrush.
There you go. Now we have two fishes. Okay, we're going to take a new paper, take your bowl and your stick and mix it well. Take your marker and you draw your sea plants. I'm going to draw about four because my A2 paper is very big. If you don't have A2 paper, take two white pages, A4 pages, and stick them together with the sellotape. Then you can draw less sea plants. Turn your paper over and start applying your paint, paint mixture. Take your hands and rub it all over the page. You can use a paintbrush, but it's much more fun to use our hands. Cover the whole page and then put your page aside carefully. Okay, you're going to take your A2 paper, put your A4 paper aside. Take your paintbrush and the rest of the mixture, paint mixture, apply it. It's easier just to take the popsicle stick and scrub everything out and apply it to the page. Once again, take your hand and rub it all over the page until the whole page is covered. If you see those spots that didn't cover, just take the paintbrush and cover it up, or take your finger with more paint and cover it up. When you're done with that, just put it aside carefully. Don't let it tear. Okay, take your two fishes when it's dry, and the scissors. Start cutting them out. Very carefully. Okay, you cut it out, just put it aside and take the scissors and your seed plants when it's dry and start cutting them out on the line. Carefully, because if you're not careful, the page will tear. If you're done with that, just put them in front of you and get your fishes. So now you have four seed plants and two fishes. Okay, then just put them aside. Then you're going to take your A2 paper and some glue. Then you're going to start sticking your sea plants at the bottom of your fish aquarium on your A2 page. You can stick them anywhere you want, in any way you want. I'm only sticking the bottom because I'm going to put some of the plants between the fishes. If you see plants, you can always go and put some glitter on them just to make them more colorful and stand out. Okay, carefully stick your fishes. Just stick on the palm of the hand so you can put the fins underneath the sea plants or over the sea plants so it looks nice and 
looks like the fish is also swimming through them. Okay, once that is done, you're going to take two googly eyes, one for each fish. Gonna take your glue, apply glue carefully, and stick your eye wherever you want on your fish. Once that is done, we'll be taking a paintbrush and any color you like. I'm taking my light blue color I put aside and just carefully make some mouse sort of fish. Little lips. You can make them as small or as big as you want. You can take your glitter and throw it on if you want. I like to use glitter so I made their mouths glitter. Shiny. Okay, take the paint again and apply it on the bottom of your aquarium or anywhere that you would like to put some glitter later on. Okay, when that's done, put some glitter on. I'm using my green just to give it a bit more color. Repeat these steps for the whole bottom of the aquarium. You can make like me, I'm going to make two green and then the middle one silver. Or you can make five different colors. You can make one color. You can do whatever you would like to be creative. Have some fun. You can go over the sea plant as well to make more colorful but I went around them once that is done you're gonna take your paint oh you're gonna shake it off a bit you're gonna take your paintbrush and you're gonna paint some clouds you're gonna take cotton balls and you're gonna apply them on the clouds so they look fluffy and nice and white so your fish has nice clouds. I'm going to repeat this as many times as you want. I'm only going to make three clouds. Nice and puffy. You can apply glitter to them as well on the clouds. That makes them stand out more. Okay, and then you're going to take your earbud and another color, I'm using yellow. And you're going to make little bubbles, air bubbles for your fish. You can take any color you like, you can make it green, pink, orange, any color you like. Even white. Once that is done. You have a beautiful fish aquarium. Ta-da!